A reminder, I whiffed on Dak. I thought he was a better version of Tebow. I have no problems at all saying it took me about week five, week six of the NFL season, his rookie year to go, okay, the guy can play. Week six? Maybe week eight. It took me a while. I whiffed on him. I said I thought he was Tim Tebow, but a better version of Tim Tebow. I didn't like his throwing motion. Little dink and dak. Uh, didn't blow me away initially. Uh, in the end, he had a great old line. Ezekiel Elliott, uh, play action stuff. But I buy in because I think he's a leader, sturdy, mobile, smart. But when I read these stories, this is about the 28th in the last month that Dak is a concern for the Cowboys. Let me give you a list of Cowboy concerns. Okay, these are things that worry me about the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott can't stay out of trouble. His dad yesterday was leading the Urban Meyer rally. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I'm worried about the whole Ezekiel Elliott family and immaturity. Number two, Sean Lee's hamstring. What there's left of it. When he plays, their defense is good. When he doesn't, their defense is like, you know, not good. And he gets hurt regularly. My third concern is their cornerback depth. They're young, so-so talented, weak at safety. I don't like their secondary, which is problematic because in the NFC, you have Carson Wentz twice and now Alex Smith twice. And somebody's got to guard Odell Beckham. And there's Aaron Rodgers. And Kirk Cousins has great wide receivers. And the Rams have amazing offensive talent. And oh, by the way, here comes Jimmy Garoppolo. And I don't like their secondary. The third thing that worries me, situational coaching. Jason Garrett doesn't call the offensive plays. Jason Garrett doesn't call the defensive plays. I like him. He's not Sean Payton. He's not Bill Belichick or Andy Reid. He's not Sean McVay. But I do worry situationally. I always feel like Belichick is making every big decision in games. With Jason Garrett, I don't know if he's making any. And finally, here's a Cowboy concern. Jason Witten, 15 years, safety valve, caught everything. He's gone. And let me tell you something. Everybody pays attention to the deep threat. You know who quarterbacks throw more often to? Their safety valve. Jason Witten has been 15 years of an insurance agency. He covered everything. Any time it was a third and four, he knew where the first down marker was. You threw the ball in his catching radius. He caught it, got down, got to end zones. Everybody falls in love with wide receiver. No, it's the safety valve guys, Julian Edelman for Tom Brady. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Randy Mosses are fun. They make it to the Hall of Fame. But it's that slot guy, that dependable tight end that you throw to and target 11 times and hopefully get to seven. So those things concern me. Does everybody remember that Dak Prescott saved the franchise? Does everybody remember what happened in 20, uh, what was it, 20, like 16? Tony Romo got hurt. You were four and 12. And then the, the draft, you had the number four pick. You tried to move up to get Paxton Lynch. Now, I just want to say this again. You're four and 12. You had the number four pick. Jerry wanted Paxton Lynch. Have you heard lately from Paxton Lynch? His parents haven't heard from him. He has disappeared in the Rocky Mountains. Denver brought back Brock Osweiler. <laughs> That's how bad it's been. You would be... If not for Dak Prescott, the only NFC team without a legitimate going forward franchise quarterback, he saved your franchise. Just like undrafted Tony Romo saved your franchise and made you relevant. So when I read about the Cowboy concerns, Ezekiel Elliott, Sean Lee's hamstring, cornerback depth, situational coaching, Jason Witten's gone, those worry me. Also, the NFC I don't remember a time in my life. I'm serious. I've been watching football for four decades. I do not remember a time in my life, not once, where every single team in a conference, AFC or NFC, had a quarterback. You know, when, when, when the Dolphins had Marino, uh, New England couldn't quite figure out the quarterback thing, and, and, then, and then Buffalo couldn't, and then Buffalo got Jim Kelly, and uh, the Jets couldn't figure out the quarterback thing, and Marino retired, and they couldn't figure it out. That's the way it works. The way it works in the NFL is there's usually one great quarterback in a division, one pretty good stable guy like Alex Smith and and maybe a Phil Simms, and then there's another guy that's promising, and then there's a guy that can't play. Okay, Dallas, you would have been guy that can't play because Carson Wentz isn't going anywhere. Uh, Eli's around for two more, and Alex Smith can win a lot of football. Ever notice with Alex Smith, he wins everywhere he goes. He won in San Francisco. He won in Kansas City. He's going to win in Washington. He won in college at Utah. 
So these concerns about Dak Prescott, he's not even top five to me. Again, last two years, 22 wins. Only the Steelers and Patriots have more than Dallas. And that's with Jerry Jones making noise, Ezekiel making noise, injuries making noise, Dez making noise. They're going to be fine. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.